Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm showing you a case of CO2 injection well in pipe sim. Okay. And by the way, I have a video about it, about CO2 injection well in pipe sim. So you can check. Uh, by the way, in this, in this video, I will not show you how to perform well construction and then the nodal analysis of CO2 injection well, no. But I'm going to show you how to extract a pressure and CO2 density from this software. Okay, wh why it is important? Because in many software, in many reservoir simulation software, we get the profile of flow rate in volume. Like for example, in field unit, we get the forecast, the calculation in MMS CF per day million standard cubic feet per day and it is not familiar for us to express the flow rate in mass right in mass flow rate but in the case of ccus in the case of co2 injection we need to express the co2 rate in actually in mass per per time for example ton per day or kilogram per day not in volume volumetric rate like MMSCF per day or meter cube per day, no. So to relate or to bridge between the volumetric rate to mass rate, we need, we need what? We need density, okay? And density is a function of pressure and it's quite difficult to get the correlation between density, density of CO2 and pressure. Maybe you have the correlation, but so far I don't have the correlation. Maybe I need to check the literature and maybe I need to check, for example, some spreadsheet function out there. But right now I don't have such correlation like that. But in my mind, I know I can generate pressure and density profile from pipe sim. Okay, so I want to generate that so that I can plot, I can get a correlation between pressure and density, okay? How pressure influences the CO2 density, okay? But before that, I'm going to show you the phase envelope. Here we go to fleet manager. In CCUS, we need to perform it in compositional modeling. So I go to compositional. I'm going to show you the component. So we go to component. Here you can see I select methane. And of course, I select carbon dioxide. Okay. And then I will close fleet manager. Oh, sorry. Phase envelope. Okay. So the phase envelope is like this. By the way, if I close and then I go to completion, click this one, and then go to fleet model. You see the name CO2 mixture. I click edit. Okay, and then editing fluid. Okay, here you can see methane zero and carbon dioxide is 100%. Okay, so now I will involve pure CO2 in my injection. And this is the phase envelope of the pure CO2. Okay, and you can get also the phase properties here, the molecular weight, the density, and then enthalpy in molar, entropy in molar, and so on and so forth. Okay, this is from edit fluid we can also go to phase envelope phase envelope being generated okay the same phase envelope of pure co2 currently the reservoir condition is is here the pressure and the temperature okay this is the plot you can also get the table here so critical point, critical point, the temperature and pressure, the dew line, pressure and temperature, 
and also the bubble line, temperature and pressure, the flash point. Okay. So from here, from face envelope, I go to the well again. Okay, and then let's go to, oh, by the way, it's important if we check here. Go back to plot. Okay, so this is the critical point. Okay, if we check the critical point is at 1,446 or 47. This is the temperature. Okay, so if I exit this pressure, I will go to a dense phase condition, super critical or liquid phase. Okay, so that's very important. So the density will be liquid density or dense phase density, supercritical liquid, supercritical fluid. It's like fluid actually. So the density will be quite heavy. It's, it will be smaller, lower, the, the, the density is smaller than water, but it's still high. It's like liquid and the temperature is here. So go back to well. And then to get the profile of density as a function of pressure, we can go to PT profile. Okay, PT profile or pressure and temperature profile. 